So you walk into a new coffee shop for the first time and you look up at the menu. Suddenly you realize that you don't recognize a lot of the drinks on the menu. The barista is waiting for your order, people are coming in behind you, the line is building up, and you're a little stressed out because you have no idea what you should order or what you might like. Well, if this has ever happened to you, and I can tell you for sure it's happened to me, I'm gonna help you out here. So take a seat, we're gonna work our way through a classic coffee shop's menu, and we're gonna figure out what you wanna drink today. Okay, so the first drink we're going to be introducing you to today is your standard latte. This is one of the most common and versatile coffee drinks. It's generally made up of two shots of espresso along with 8 to 24 ounces of milk depending on what size you get. You can have them hot or iced. I'm showing you the hot one right now and it has a thin layer of foam on the top layer from the steamed milk. Now you can also add a lot of syrups to these. Vanilla lattes are one of the most standard, however caramel is also delicious. It's also worth always asking a coffee shop if they have any housemade syrups. For example, we have a honey lavender right now that is housemade and delicious. All right, moving on. The next drink we're gonna look at is your cappuccino. Now this is a widely debated drink as to its standard measurements. However, we serve a five and a half ounce cappuccino. That is two shots of espresso and three and a half ounces of steamed milk. Frequently cappuccinos are associated with being a lot foamier and sometimes that's true, but there's a very, very wide range of cappuccinos. So for here, we just have a slightly thicker foam on top. Sometimes they're served with cocoa powder as I just demonstrated, or sometimes they're served with about a teaspoon of sugar. We serve them plain, but you're more than welcome to add whatever toppings you like and then mix it up and enjoy. The cappuccino, as I mentioned before, is one of the most classically known coffee drinks out there. It is delicious, it is slightly more concentrated than your average latte, it is a great way to experience milk foam texture as well as the flavors of an espresso shot. A great way to measure the quality of a coffee shop. One of my favorite drinks and it's always a good go-to. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Now this is either called a Cortado or a Gibraltar depending on what glass it's served in. It's a four ounce drink that is made up of two ounces of espresso paired with two ounces of steamed milk. Size wise, it falls right in between a traditional macchiato and a cappuccino. It's a really, really delicious drink. Again, if you are looking for something that is a little bit milkier with a slightly richer texture, but you still wanna taste the flavor of a cafe's espresso. It's a wonderful little drink that packs quite a hefty punch. So beware of that because it's got a powerful flavor to it. So the next drink is gonna be your macchiato. This is a very tiny drink, that is my hand for reference. It is three, three and a half ounces, two ounces of espresso, and then one ounce of steamed milk and or foam. I made this a little bit wetter with more steamed milk, so you could have a little design on top, but sometimes it's served just as a little dot of foam, and that's fine too. This drink packs a punch. It is mostly espresso. The milk is just added for a little bit of a richer texture. Uh, it's delicious. It's not always a beginner's drink, but it's something to definitely work towards, and I would highly recommend it if you are looking for something a little milky, but also espresso-based. Finally, we've landed here at your traditional double espresso. If you order an espresso for here in a coffee shop, this is what you're gonna get. It won't be served with any cream or sugar most likely, but you're more than welcome to add those things. Now, traditionally, they will also come with a tiny demi toss spoon right here. And you're gonna wanna use it to stir up your espresso to release the aromatics and incorporate the crema on top into the body of the espresso. Uh, a standard way of stirring is to move the spoon from front to back very quickly, about 10 times, and then set it to the side and you're good to go. Often this will also be served with a little glass of sparkling seltzer water. This is just a palate cleanser. You can drink it in between, you can drink it before or after. There are no real rules with espresso. It's just however you like it. Next up we have my favorite drink of all time, it's a mocha. This drink gives me a lot of nostalgia because it's the very first coffee drink I ever had. It is essentially a latte with chocolate sauce varying from either milk chocolate to dark chocolate. I also add a hefty amount of cocoa powder to my mochas because I think it really levels out the flavor and adds a really rich undertone to what is traditionally a very sweet drink. Enjoy it however you like. They are delicious iced in the summer. They are delicious warm. They're essentially a hot chocolate on steroids and they're one of my favorite things in the world. So would rank 10 out of 10. Okay, we're gonna move on to a couple drinks that are not milk-based. This is called an Americano, and instead of milk, you're gonna have hot water or cold water. You're also gonna have your traditional two shots of espresso, and they're gonna be added on top or into the hot water. I suppose if you wanted to be particularly strange about your order, you could order this as a latte sub hot water for the milk, and that's technically what it is. This is a really lovely drink for people who like espresso but might want a larger drink that isn't hot coffee. It's somewhere in between, it's commonly served black, but if you're like me, you might want to add a tiny bit of cream, and that's also very delicious. So I'm adding some half and half here, and that's personally how I like Americanos. They're not my favorite drink of all time, but they definitely have their place and can be very, very delicious with the right espresso. 
So the next drink we're gonna look at is something that is popping up more and more in coffee shops, and it is cold brew. Now this is different than iced coffee. This is not brewed hot and then flash frozen. This is a drink that is brewed cold for a very, very long period of time, traditionally 18 to 24 hours. Due to this longer brewing period, it tends to have a much more mellow, rich, deep flavor than iced coffee does, and it is also highly caffeinated. So if you are sensitive to caffeine, maybe avoid the cold brew, but that's just my recommendation. It's one of my favorite ice drinks in the summer. Serve it with an obnoxiously large metal straw and you are good to go. All right, let's move on to one of our last drinks. This is a non-coffee drink, but it is commonly served in cafes and it is equally delicious as any of the past ones. This is a chai latte. It is a steamed latte that is made with black tea, a blend of spices, and I'm topping it with nutmeg and cinnamon. It's incredibly comforting. It's a wonderful drink if you're looking for something in the winter. It can also be delicious iced. Anything that I mentioned here today can also be iced and is very, very good. Uh, chai lattes are wonderful and I would highly recommend one if you're looking for something to switch up your everyday routine. People often also add espresso shots to them and make them dirty chai lattes and that's totally up to you. Now, the one last thing I did want to mention before leaving here today is how people can have these drinks vegan. Now there are a wide range of plant-based milk options. I'm highlighting a few of them here that I use personally in the cafe I work at. However, my personal favorite is oat milk. If you're looking to get into plant-based milks, I highly recommend you try oat milk. It's delicious, it steams incredibly well, and it has a very, very mild flavor that doesn't disrupt the flavor of the coffee. All right, everyone. Well, I hope that was a little bit helpful, and I hope next time you go to a cafe, you can find the perfect drink for yourself. Also, never feel afraid to ask a barista what they think you might like to order. Personally, I find it incredibly fun to match people to drinks that they really want, and yeah. Hope you have a great day, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Next week, I suppose. Goodbye!